Okay, guys, I've uh, finished the initial six charges with my Zero Lemon battery. And uh, this is a follow-up video to give you my impressions about it until now. Well, uh, I could not go back to the standard battery. This is way, way, way better. Uh, in the upper part of the screen we have some uh, usage scenarios with the standard battery, print screens that I made, and in the lower part uh, with the Zero Lemon. Well, you can see uh, I was getting about a day, even less than a day, 11 hours if I used it uh, heavily, and two and a half, two hours, almost three, in this case three and eight minutes of screen on time. Uh, I think three and eight, three hours and eight minutes is about the maximum screen on time that I got with the standard battery. Uh, with the Zero Lemon one, you can see this is the uh, initial one with uh, the charge that I bought it with and I also let it uh, charge, uh, charge for about 12 hours if I remember correctly or something like that. I will tell you later all my uh, charges, their uh, time. So yeah, 9 hours and 4 minutes screen on time versus maximum uh, 3 hours and 8 minutes. So yeah, but this is also the maximum. I never got more than this. But the, the single problem with the Zero Lemon battery is that uh, it kind of drops in uh, steps. You can see this was the worst case here, when for uh, more than a day it's, uh, it got stuck at uh, 2%. So yeah, <laughs> my screen was quite dim with 2% because below 5% you know the screen dims on the S4 Mini. But uh, yeah, still got eight and a half hours of screen on and uh, two days and 13 hours of usage. So you can see here it uh, doubles the use time of the phone and in some cases it almost triples it. So yeah, go, go for the Zero Lemon battery. The worst uh, screen on time, let me just check really, fa really fast here, I think it was 6 hours and 12 minutes. Uh, and I've seen that um, it kind of doesn't like uh, taking out uh, the phone from the charger and starting uh, using it heavily. It likes after it has been charged to stay a few hours and then you start using it. Probably this will change after I use the battery more, but at this point, uh, yeah. But no less than 6 uh, hour, hours of screen on, so that's pretty good. But uh, when I had this, you can see it was 3 days and 10 hours use. So this was over a weekend when I don't use my phone uh, that much, I use more my, my PC. So this with a standard battery, <laughs> absolutely impossible. Like you, you can still see here, it still drops uh, in steps. It doesn't drop uh, like a, a standard battery. Although the standard battery something dro uh, sometimes dropped in steps in my case. So yeah, I don't know, it's the battery, it's the phone, not really sure, but I couldn't care less because yeah, I will probably, from now on, if I finished the six original charges that I made with the phone completely, uh, completely closed, so the phone was shut off, uh, I got, uh, I finished those, so now I will not shut, shut off my phone, so yeah, I, I will probably uh, charge it every two days overnight and uh, doing this I can use my phone as much as I want in those two days and I will not be able to, to drain the battery 
If I want I can try to use it for 3 days and charge it the third night but then I would have to to be careful and not use it as much but no I prefer 2 days and use it when I want with whatever I want and keep in mind for all these graphs everything was on Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, mobile data, everything, absolutely everything was on. So this battery is amazing in, in my opinion. Now just uh, some other things I want to show you. Let me make it a little bit bigger. You can see here, uh, this was a, charged a charge made with the phone uh, on, not uh, shut down. The first one with the phone on. And I have uh, an app, Galaxy Charging Current, that tells me how much the, the phone is putting into the battery. So I put the phone to charge, uh, sorry, really hard to say charge, no, don't know why. Uh, I put my phone uh, charging at uh, 8 a.m. Yes. Uh, and at 10.23 it was still drawing, uh, ignore the last three, I, uh, I don't know why three digits, I don't know why this app shows them, but it shouldn't. It was still drawing 882 milliamps, it was putting this into the battery. At uh, 1 and 11 minutes it has dropped to about 428 milliamps and at this point, uh, about 2 o'clock, it was 100% uh, charged. You can see here, it says here uh, on the battery 100%. This, uh, it was 100%, but you can see it was still charging. So be careful when you are char charging it. Um, this uh, lighting has to disappear and this battery with 100% has to appear, only then it is fully charged. But it would still draw a little bit of current and put it into the battery. This has stopped about half an hour later, but I, I did something else and could not get to the phone then. And I checked it only at 2 and 52 minutes. And but by that time it was, it was uh, starting to draw current from the battery, so it has uh, stopped using the ch uh, wall charger and it was using only the battery. So from 8 to about 2.5, somewhere 6 hours, 6.5 hours uh, charge from 0 to one, full 100%. So that is pretty good, I will charge it overnight. I don't really care that it takes longer to charge. Another thing when doing initial charges with the phone uh, off, this is not fully charged. This is. You have to wait until it says 100% on the battery. But if you do 12 hour charges then yeah, this is not so important because it will say 100% after the 12 hours without any issues. Yeah. My phone seems to be ringing, I will get to that in a moment, I hope it stops. <laughs> so yeah, this is a pretty amazing battery. Uh, I want to show you some things uh, on my phone in a moment and I want to make a little modification so my phone is not, uh, how you say, <laughs> naked underneath the the zero lemon case, I want to modify uh, a standard back panel for the phone so the battery goes through it. You will see what I what I mean in a moment. So this is about all with these graphs. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments and let's continue with the modification and some other information. Okay, some more informations. You have to be a little bit careful when you push the buttons. In my case, if I push the volume down button in its uh, standard location in the middle, it uh, will 
take the volume down command but it will also input a volume up one so I have to push it a little bit lower you can see for the volume up, up uh, there is no need so probably the volume up uh, it's pushing a little bit too much on the on the contact but I've uh, learned that I don't push in the middle because this will happen so I'm pushing a little bit down and everything is perfectly okay the on off button works without any issues so yeah that is good in my particular situation uh, something happens that is a little bit annoying let me force this to focus on it it's pushing uh, just a little bit into the the foil, the protection foil in this corner for example it created a tiny bubble but this is happening because I have an extremely thick foil with normal foil I'm almost positive it will not happen and with um, you see that now there are uh, glass protectors and with one of those I'm also sure it will not happen because it has a radius this is cut 90 degrees and uh, yeah they are colliding one with the other but just let me show you how thick this foil is if I push my, my nail into it it actually leaves a mark that will disappear in about half an hour or something like that so it's extremely thick if you don't have this type of foil or a glass protector you, you don't have this problem something else that I've noticed uh, I lost a little bit of uh, Wi-Fi signal about 10% I would say but uh, that doesn't really matter unless you are in a limit situation when you barely get Wi-Fi somewhere you might not get it anymore with this but in my case I get uh, great Wi-Fi all over the house so the 10% doesn't really matter like I told you a full charge about six and a half hours so yeah that's about it it's a really really good fit uh, it feels really good in the hand doesn't get dirty the sound is very loud but I will try to modify one of, of this original uh, bags for the phone because something's something bothers me but yeah I'm I'm really annoying <laughs> with stuff like this you see there is a space between between this and the phone this space is uh, come on focus almost everywhere everywhere sorry and uh, yeah you can see through here the phone is white so yeah I'm a little bit crazy about stuff like this and I will try to come on Oh, I hate this focusing part I will try to modify this so when you look through these grills or you look to the area here you will not see the white uh, stuff of the phone you will see this gray case so I will cut part of it just to let the battery pass through it I'm not sure how it will work or if it will work but I got this about two dollars something like that is used and yeah I will cut it I don't have uh, another use for it and see how that goes so we'll continue sorry I forgot to give you the charge informations first charges were made with the phone off uh, six of them from zero percent I let the phone uh, drain to 0% although they say only to 2% because like you saw in the graphics before one time it got stuck at 2% for more than a day so if I started charging it at 2% that would uh, not have been a full charge so I always let it go down to 0% 
I will, I will not do this anymore. Or all apart from these charges, still from zero, all uh, new charges will be done above 15 percent because I don't want to ruin my battery because it's not good to let it drain that much. But I just tried to make the phone learn it as best as it uh, can. So yeah. Uh, first one is the initial charge, 13 hours, it already ha uh, had about uh, half uh, uh, 50%, half of the battery full, but I still did the full charge. And these are uh, all others, this is zero because it's the initial one, it's not from 0%, it's from 50 about, so yeah. Uh, two of them, yeah, I needed to use my phone quicker than expected, so yeah, they are not really correct, but most of them are even above 12 hours. And until now I have done only one with the phone on, and it took about six and a half to seven hours. I let it stay for seven hours, but if I would have taken it out about six and a, uh, after about six and a half hours it would have been good but yeah seven hours just to be sure but keep in mind i used the phone a little bit during this while it was plugged so yeah maybe you get away with six hours if you don't use it at all this with the phone on so next uh, i will do also this but uh, yeah I thought that I can make this video, I have enough information to give you guys. All other charges, like I said, will not be done from 0%, will be done about 15-20% and with the phone on. So yeah, let's continue to the other informations and uh, the little modification that I want to make to the phone. Okay guys, I was uh, almost ready to finish the video and upload it. That happened uh, a month ago, maybe two months ago. But uh, then I saw something a little bit weird. Let me just show you. This is a normal discharge graph with uh, zero lemon. But then something weird started happening the second I started uh, charging the battery with the phone turned on well this happened so yeah I decided to not upload the video and wait a little bit more and see exactly what uh, what is the problem So yeah, my phone ringing in the background. I've done uh, 8 full uh, 0 to 100 charges. These are the times. And uh, these are the results. Not this one, this is an original result with the phone turned off. So yeah, this is, uh, you can see just a little bit there when I realized the problem. The battery went down to zero. When I restarted the phone, it was 51%. And it went down to zero after about 3 hours and 16 minutes. That's not uh, pretty good. It's almost like the original battery of the phone. But then it lasted. Uh, this is from the same charge. It lasted to 5 hours and 50, uh, 46 minutes. And of course the next charge is uh, 6 hours. The same thing happened. Sometimes it goes down and uh, only goes up one time and then it's uh, finished. Uh, sometimes it does this uh, twice so yeah eight hours almost eight hours again 
but the only thing that uh, it's a bit of a problem you are not sure of the percentage of the battery so yeah but for me it doesn't really matter because uh, I've learned how much uh, the battery lasts and now uh, on the way it uh, the percentage goes down during usage I know it's uh, if it's real or if it will do one of these uh, jumps but the most important thing is that it will last for a minimum absolute minimum of five hours and the original one was lasting about uh, three hours so in the worst case scenario if you don't have um, almost no mobile signal and it will search a lot for signal I don't know the minimum is five hours so if you are under five hours and it goes uh, down to zero be sure that you still have uh, some power left so yeah you can see about the same thing happening over and over with uh, every charge but uh, yeah let's get to one of the weird ones I hope I'm not uh, replaying the same photos okay you can see a uh, pretty weird graph here So here again it uh, it lasted somewhere uh, over five hours but never under. But this is when something is using uh, um, pretty much uh, too much of the battery. So this probably had an error and used a little bit much. Not really sure. So yeah, and then something like this happens, it goes down to zero for real. So yeah, now we are re just replaying. Uh, so sometimes it does this, sometimes it goes down to zero normally, you cannot be sure. I don't know why, what triggered this, the only thing that I did differently was uh, charge the phone, uh, charge the battery with the phone uh, on. I don't know, the phone learned that this is a new battery and it's managing it in some weird way. When it was charged with the phone off, it just took the info from the battery and uh, worked the graph based on that not really sure but what I can tell you for sure is that I will continue to use this battery no matter what because it uh, it actually makes my phone usable it minimum doubles the lifetime of the battery of the original one because on the when, if this gets uh, only if, uh, five hours to say uh, the original one sometimes got only two hours so yeah it minimum doubles the lifetime and uh, now I usually charge my phone every other night before I had to, to charge it uh, every single night and sometimes even during the day but now every other night uh, is enough and I can use it every way I want it and I'm sure it will not uh, deplete so yeah this is still a great battery even if sometimes uh, this happens yeah what can you do and uh, a work colleague of mine had a phone yeah this is just maybe as an explanation I don't know had a phone uh, that he bought with two batteries a lower capacity one and a thicker uh, higher capacity one well 
even if he bought this phone from the manufacturer like that his phone sometimes still behaved like this with the high capacity uh, battery so yeah I don't know but I'm just trying to say that this doesn't mean the battery is bad this means that phones cannot really handle too well high capacity batteries some of them at least but yeah for me this is not important I will still use it because this lifetime is way better than what I had before so yeah never let it uh, go down to zero I'm not letting it anymore now I just did this so I can show you the results and uh, yeah buy it it's a great battery and uh, next I will show you what was the real problem with my uh, foil protection foil and uh, I will do the modification to the back cover of the, the phone so stick around for that I've showed you before that the edge of the case was pushing against the foil and the foil was lifting a little bit at the corners well you can see that problem is gone now and that uh, was because of a weird reason when I bought this foil it was advertised as uh, being uh, uh, better in drop situations I had no idea why well now I know it seems it was actually made up of two foils with some uh, gooey stuff between them some uh, glue that probably took uh, some of the impacts and this uh, was pretty thick the first layer so it uh, the foil was not not actually lifting from the telephone these uh, two layers were uh, separating so the uh, foil is perfect now i when i tried to to lift this so I clean the edges or something to so it will stick better it actually came apart and now I'm left with the lower part of the foil and it's still working uh, actually is working even better now because there are no problems anymore so yeah you will not have probably uh, issues with foils and this uh, back so yeah, now let's do the modification. Okay, I have uh, marked on this uh, back of the phone the area that I want to cut. So I can put this uh, on the phone normally and the battery will just go through it. Something like that. But uh, yeah, I have no idea how easy I will be able to cut this because it's uh, pretty thin and flexible. So yeah, we will see how it goes. Of course, everything I'm doing now is absolutely unnecessary, but uh, I don't kind of like the idea that my phone doesn't have a backside anymore. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to put it back. This is what I got so far. I cut it with uh, this, with a Dremel. It's uh, pretty good. I have to cut a little bit more here. But uh, on the other side uh, it's pretty decent. I will just uh, have to file it a little bit to make uh, the edges a little bit cleaner. And uh, yeah should be pretty good uh, if you're wondering why I cut more here it's because uh, the battery has this lip so this has to uh, go uh, up to the phone so yeah I had to do it like that 
so yeah let's do some more work on this the finished uh, product it went uh, better and easier than expected let me just put the battery in place and I will show you how it looks this is how it looks like with the battery on I left a gap in this part for the sound to come out it will resonate underneath the battery and come out uh, through this whole gap uh, if you decide to do this uh, you probably can leave just a tiny gap in uh, the middle of the screen area but uh, yeah for me it was easier to to do it like this because in this particular point uh, you would have to make this back cover meet the battery perfectly so that was pretty hard to do so I decided to make uh, a longer gap you will be unable to see that gap because uh, when you are looking to the holes of the of the case you are looking at uh, this angle you cannot look uh, steeper so yeah no gap to be seen <laughs> so it's pretty good let me just put the the case back on it and see how that fits now okay I have finished the modification you can no longer see the back of the phone white uh, parts of it also in this area and here but I uh, I must say I do not recommend you to this uh, the case doesn't uh, fit quite well with this maybe you can see here uh, in the bottom part uh, there is a little uh, not a gap but it's not a perfect fit like it was before so yeah I'm not really sure if I will let it like this or not but for a few days at least I will uh, leave it like this to see if the rubber uh, uh, begins to to stay better in place with it because I kind of like not uh, having the white uh, parts show up all over the place but I also like uh, the case being a impeccable fit like it was before so yeah I must decide what I will do but for a few days at least I'm sure I will leave it uh, this way so uh, yeah I highly recommend this battery I most likely will never use this phone without it and uh, it's a very nice case also it really does protect the phone a lot so thanks guys for watching sorry for the delay of releasing this video but yeah <laughs> I wasn't sure what to tell you about it until now. Maybe you will never uh, have a 100% accurate uh, battery meter, but that's a small uh, trade-off for uh, your phone lasting more than double what it did on the original battery. So yeah, the weight I got used to it and it doesn't bother me at all so see you guys in the next video thanks again for watching and bye